This video will show how to make hidden block parameters visible for troubleshooting and configuration. For this example, let's imagine that an operator had informed us that the rapid stop feature of drain pump P313 of reactor R310 failed to function. First, from the plant view, you can expand the project that contains the CPU. In this example, it is PROJ00. Then expand Johnson, Reactors, R310, and select the hierarchy folder Drain. Next, let's right click the Drain Pump Chart P313 and select the open object from the list. The continuous function chart, P313, opens in the continuous function chart editor. We know that the rapid stop function is on this chart, but we don't know where. One way to find it is to click the chart reference data icon. The display chart reference data window opens. Clicking the cross reference chart element Addresses icon found in the toolbar at the top will display a list of chart elements to addresses within the entire CPU. Maximize the list window and select the chart column to sort by chart name. Now you can scroll down to find the start of Johnson Reactors R310 Drain P313 chart. Take notice of the rapid stop parameter of the block called control. This is the parameter we want to look at in the continuous function chart or CFC. Close the chart reference data window. Locate the block called control and select it. And notice that it does not show an input parameter called rapid stop. There is a blue triangle at the top right of the block. This indicates that there are parameters within the connections that are invisible. If we right click on the block header and open its object properties, we'll see the input and output tab. Select the IO tab and click the name column to sort by parameter name. Scroll down to find the rapid stop parameter. Select the number at the far left of the row. This will highlight the entire row. Notice the interconnection to the symbolic name switch 2.0. Scroll to the right. Look, the invisible box is checked for this parameter. It needs to be unchecked for the parameter to be visible on the block. If this is done now, you will need to compile the charts. Download is not necessary. If you do not wish to compile, then close the properties without unchecking the invisible box. Start test mode from this chart by clicking the test mode on off icon on the toolbar. Select the header of the block name control and click the watched on icon that looks like a pair of sunglasses. Live data indicated by the yellow highlighted values will now show on the control block. Right click the control block, reopen the object properties and select the input output tab. Once again, scroll down and locate the rapid stop parameter. Unselect the invisible checkbox and click the OK button. Notice that the rapid stop parameter is now visible as a block input and you do not have to compile the charts. You can now use standard troubleshooting methods to see the value of the rapid stop parameter and trace the connection. When done, turn off test mode and close the CFC.